The new iPad finally released in China. But with just a handful of fanboys lining up to get their hands on Apple's Wonder Tablet, they're not exactly ripping the doors open. This trickle is a far cry from past releases, which have descended into riots with flying eggs and police on call. Today's calm is in part because Apple has set up online pre-orders, but it's also because many of the company's biggest fans in China already have the new tablet. Think of it as iPad arbitrage. You've got the main Apple shop here in Hong Kong that has lower prices for items like the iPad than in the mainland. So people come buy their goods here and then make the trek back to China over the Shenzhen border. With no taxes to push up retail prices, the third generation iPad costs 500 US dollars in Hong Kong. That's versus a launch price of about 580 bucks in mainland China. So after picking out your iPad in the Apple store, you then jump on the local subway system and transfer to the train to China. Don't feel too bad about it though, you're in good company. Media estimates put grade channel imports of the new iPad at over 200,000 in the last four months. That's more than 1,500 sneaked over the border every day. And then you arrive here in Shongshui. It's the last stop before the border with China. Everyone gets off the train, they repack their goods to go across customs and they get back on. Amid the sea of goods being repacked to carry over the border from duty-free wine to U.S. milk powder, we found this guy carting around at least 25 iPads to take over. The iPads, are going. are they going to China? Are you sending these iPads to China? Are you going to pay duties for these iPads or are you going to take them over the border illegally? He was a bit publicity shy, hiding behind a staircase while his team took out the iPads from the retail boxes to tuck away in their bags. From here, once you're packed up, you get back in the train lineup and then you get your game face on for the customs crossing. So just how easy is it to be an Apple mule? Well, we're here on the train that stops at Lo Wu, just minutes away from the border crossing now. Now, I'm not gonna take this iPad, stick it in my jacket and cross over without declaring it, cause that would be illegal. But a lot of people do that and they make a quick buck in the process. With Chinese consumers getting a break and Apple getting higher sales, it's no mystery why we're seeing this modern day version of Smuggler's Cove. John Gordon in Hong Kong.